What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to unlock your device, your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch if you forgot the Apple ID on it or if you forgot the passcode and it's now no longer letting you in. If you're stuck for example on iPhone is disabled or if you're stuck on the passcode screen this video is for you. So in order to do this we're going to use a software called Startsoft Key Pass. This one here allows you to unlock the device even if it's on the lock screen and even if it's on the activation lock, you know the iCloud stuff. For the activation lock it supports only the iPhone 10 and lower but for the unlock iPhone lock screen here every iPhone would work. There is a free trial available if you want to check it out and the program is available here for Windows if you want to download it. So everything you need to know about the program is in here and it says in here the compatibility as well so that you know of course before buying. You can see that on the compatibility it says all iPhone, iPad and iPod if you want to unlock the screen passcode on iOS 7.0 and later and for the remove iCloud iPhone 5 is the iPhone 10, some iPads and some iPod Touch models, you can get more information in here. So that's what you need to know about the program, however I already have the program installed so I'm going to show you how to use it. So once you have it installed it will look like this when it starts. It gives you two options here, unlock screen passcode and remove iCloud activation. Now of course I'm reviewing the VIP version so all the features are available in here. Now for the remove iCloud activation, this is the iCloud activation page in here, that's how your device would look like. For this you would need to create a USB device, for example you press start in here here with your device connected, it's going to detect automatically your device like it did in my case here, iPod Touch 6 and press unlock and at that point it will download the jailbreak components because this one will jailbreak your device in the background. However after that you will have to burn a USB flash drive in order to boot it because unfortunately one of the components that this program requires which is basically check rain is only available for macOS or Linux. So you will be directed to create a bootable USB flash drive by the program and you will be able to to boot that into a Linux version that has all the tools available for you. So if you want to go with the iCloud bypass route you would have to create this in here, basically the USB flash drive. You have to have a USB flash drive connected, in this case I have one in here that's 15 gigs in size and it says in here that it's going to erase the whole flash drive so just press ok in here but do back it up first if you have important data on it. So after that you're going to see this interface in here, it takes a couple of seconds and you are done. So at this point it says the jailbreak environment is burned successfully, you're going to have to boot this on your computer. And there is also a tutorial available here, you can either press in here or scan the QR code, but I'm going to restart my computer and I'm going to boot into this in here. Now depending on what computer you have, the booting procedure will be completely different, so I'm not going to go into those details, you're going to have to google the boot sequence for your own computer, because it may not match from one to another and this computer is a Mac so it will definitely not match yours. But yeah, you have to boot from that USB flash drive, so keep it connected, reboot your computer into the boot sequence, usually escape key or F8 or F12 and then boot into the environment from that USB flash drive, which I'm going to do right now and then we're going to come back in here and I'm going to demo the other feature which is the unlock screen passcode here. Alright, so once you boot into the check rain mode, you're going to see something like this. We have to press Alt F2 in order to go to the check rain mode. So I'm going to do just that, I'm going to press Alt F2. So you can use your keyboard in here in order to navigate through the uh, commands. But yeah, you can see it says iPod Touch in there, iOS 12.5.5, that one is connected. You press start. I'm going to go here to options and I'm going to go to allow untested iOS. Press the space bar in order to select that. And if your device is an iPhone 10 or 8 or 8 Plus, you're going to have to select skip A11 BPR check. If not, do not do that. After that, I'm gonna go back in here and press start and next again and it's going to put the device in recovery mode, which is going to take a couple of seconds, but then I'm gonna be right back. So it says in here device is now in recovery mode and we have to press start and follow the directions on the screen in order to put the device in DFU mode. Yours might be different, so do keep that in mind. Some devices may require you to press the volume down instead of the home button. And now it says booting in here, so the device will now show the Apple logo and just give it a couple of seconds and wait for it to boot. Once it boots you can go back to Windows. Alright so as you can see it says all done in there, we press done and that's it. Now you can quit and go back to Windows and continue using the program. So I'm gonna be right back on Windows. Alright so with the computer booted back on Windows and key pass started again and of course with the device back again on the hello screen and the language selection and stuff but with check rain enabled we go here to remove iCloud now and as you can see it's now being detected and once it's detected we want to press start in here. Now it's going to detect the UDID, press unlock and it's not going to tell us again about check rain, now it says removing activation lock. And as you can see on the device there's nothing new, you can see the device live feed in there, it says please do not disconnect the device or 
or exit the program to avoid being bricked. So it's 7% already, the vice is right here. You can see basically everything that is going on. We're waiting for it to complete and once that completes, we should be good to go and we should be able to use the device normally. So yeah, you can see that the device is basically stuck in there and now it's rebooting. It takes a couple of seconds, computer is 31%, but the device is rebooting in there, it's still on the hello screen, so I'm gonna press in here on the home button and as you can see, it's still in there. We're waiting for it to complete in here on the computer. And as you can see, it's doing that again. It shows the spinning progress bar again, which means that the device is respringing. It may take a couple of seconds, so give it time. All right, we're at 99%. Device is respringing again, so waiting for it to complete. And then in here, the program says 99%. So yeah, back to hello screen. And it says iCloud activation is removed successfully. The activation lock of the original iCloud has been successfully removed, so you can now freely access your device. I'm gonna press done in here and that's it. So let's go ahead here on the device. And yeah, it went straight to data privacy in here. No other things, set up a passcode, which I'm not going to do, but yeah, it went straight to that. I'm gonna press here on the passcode options and don't set a passcode. And I'm gonna say, don't move any data. And I don't have an Apple ID, so I'm not gonna select this one here. I'm gonna set it up later in settings and that's it. Agree with terms and conditions. And I'm gonna continue here, install updates manually, set up later in settings don't share anything with the developers and I'm gonna press get started here and that's it the device now works fine as you can see from here you can open the settings and there is no iCloud account in here you can sign in to get applications and stuff and it works fine so I open the calculator and stuff and as you can see we do have check rain in here so if you want to jailbreak your device you can install Cydia as well if you want to so yeah that's basically how this works now I'm gonna show you how the unlock screen passcode works if you forgot your passcode this is the screen that you would normally have enter passcode passcode or touch ID or fingerprint or whatever and you will not be able to use your device because of this. So if you see something like this then you will be able to use this program here or if it says that your iOS device has been disabled because of too many incorrect attempts to get the passcode right. So there are a couple of important information here. This will erase all the data on your device. There is no getting away from it. So if you have any important data on your device everything unfortunately will be removed. The iOS version will be updated to the latest so if for example iOS 15 point one is currently the latest you will be updated to that no matter what you had on your device please make sure to have enough power so yeah make sure your device is indeed charged because this will restore the device and if your device shuts down midway because your battery is too low that can create problems later it says in here after unlocking you will need to enter the iCloud password to set up your device if find my iPhone is on so this one doesn't bypass the iCloud activation this one bypasses only the passcode screen here so that it can use again the device device as new, but if the device was linked to an Apple ID, you will need to log into your Apple ID again with your password because otherwise you will get stuck in basically in this screen here. And that's not a problem if you can use this in here, if your device is one of these supported devices for removing iCloud activation. But if it's not, if for example, I have an iPhone 12 or 13, then that would not work. So do keep that in mind. If find my iPhone is on, you will need your iCloud ID. Then we just have to press unlock in here. And as you can see, it says that it's going to download download the firmware. So it's going to download it and see key pass here. The device is an iPod Touch 6 generation and of course the firmware version is 12.5.5 but this program works with iOS 15 as well, with iOS 14, with iOS 12, 11 and so on but it goes all the way down to 12 if needed. It actually goes all the way up to iOS 7 if needed for this particular option here. Now at this point if you do have an IPSW for the latest version of your device you can specify it here but if you don't you can press download and it will start downloading one for you. So as you can see for me it's going to take roughly 10 minutes or so to download the IPSW and in all this time I have to keep my device connected to the computer via USB so no problem I'm going to just leave the device connected and I'm going to wait for this to complete it's already 5% so I'm gonna be right back once this finishes so as you can see the download is now complete it says in here verifying and of course that's an important step because you don't want the firmware to have been corrupted in the download process and of course break your device so it says firmware is ready we press continue here and with the device connected connected we see this so confirm to unlock please keep your device connected and of course it says in here that this will erase all your data please enter four ones to confirm so one 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 uh, this is basically to make sure that you really know that this is going to remove your photos and contacts and everything because there is no way around that the passcode basically encrypts all that data and if you don't have the passcode there's no way to decrypt it so I'm gonna press confirm here and it says unlocking your device so at this point is going to only take a couple of minutes for this to complete again you don't have 
to touch your device at all, don't disconnect it, don't press any buttons. Your device will reboot a couple of times, it's normal. You may see the Apple logo, you may see a progress bar underneath the Apple logo, you may hear the Windows device connection sound, and even iTunes may pop up like this, we press cancel and we press X in here. As I said, the device may reboot a couple of times and it may trigger Windows into detecting multiple devices being connected. It's perfectly normal. At this point, everything in here is automatic, you don't have to do much of a thing. So this is going to take about 10 minutes as well. It's going to restore the whole device and you're going to see a progress bar right here and also on the screen. So I'm gonna be right back once it finishes because it's a pretty lengthy process. So once everything is completed, you're going to see this. This is the best side to see. Unlocked successfully, your device will be restarted, please wait. And yes, the first time your device will restart, it's going to show a progress bar again. And that's going to take another couple of minutes or so, like three to four minutes. And once that increases, your device will boot into the setup screen. You know, the hello screen, where you have to select your language, your Wi-Fi network, you're going to set up Siri and screen time and so on, and then you will be able to use your device as new. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. The program is available at Startsoft in here. It's startsoft.com iPhone Unlocker. As for the pricing, if you're interested, you can find the pricing here on their website by pressing on pricing. And you can see that the personal license for one device for lifetime is basically $29.95. The family license, which is the recommended one for three devices lifetime is $39.95. And the business license, which is basically unlimited for as many devices as you want for a lifetime is $89.95. And they do accept PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, and many other card providers if you wanna purchase this from their website. Do keep in mind that there are lifetime free updates and they do come with free technical support in here so definitely check that out. An important note though about the price for the key pass regardless of how good this price is in here in the description down below there is a coupon code to get even a better price so if you go ahead for the personal license for one device and as you can see once you do that you go ahead in here and you can actually redeem a coupon code and you paste the code from the description below you press update and as you can see minus $8.99 and now the price is $20.96 which is actually great because it's much lower. You can do the same with all the licenses in here, including the family one, which is the recommended. I'm going to go ahead in here. And you can see that this one in here from $39.95 became $27.96, which is indeed better. So you can use the coupon for 30% off from down below. And there is a free trial available for you to get. Definitely check it out in the link below, especially if your device is iCloud locked, or of course, if you forgot your iPhone's passcode. Definitely check it out below. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Until the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.